Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here with the new Coco Daisy, new Coco Daisy uh, planner subscription kit and I am excited to open this. Please ignore my dogs. Um, they like to be two feet from me and no further. Closer yes, but no further. Um, so you'll probably hear them jingle and jangle in the background as I'm opening this while my husband is out of the house uh, and he can't distract them. Uh, as always, we've got a pretty yellow polka dot box. I love the amount of color that they put into these boxes. I did once get a plain white box and that was okay. I was able to reuse it, but it's so much fun to get a bright yellow box like this, especially these days when spring is right around the corner and everything is blooming. So let's get right into it. Here we go. So we've got a little bit of fun yellow tissue paper and I love this because it's just a little bit of a bright pop inside. Uh, I actually save this and reuse it because it's such a pretty yellow. And then inside of it, it uh, looks like this one's theme box is called Silver Lining. We've got this nice watercolor uh, flowers with a little butterfly and the, on the back Christine writes about what's going on and what inspired her for this kit. Um, super cute and I love it. Um, what's also nice is I like reusing these as decoration in uh, other things, whether I'm using some memory keeping with, in a traveler's notebook or just in my planner in general. Currently, I subscribe to a standard size planner. Um, I'm thinking about changing that up because I have been using my um, pocket size, my field note size, a lot more lately and I wonder if that might be more useful for me, um, but I don't know yet so we'll see. Go ahead and empty out the bag, put that aside, and the first thing I see it pops right out are these adorable, um, oh it looks like we've got a sun glare there, uh, adorable cloud shaped post-its. Um, this is one of my favorite things in the Coco Daisy boxes is because these aren't standard size notepads. Like you've got these big three by three pads. Look how small that is. I love that. And you've got this cute detail of the clouds. Uh, it reminds me of anime clouds. Things that you'd see in the back of Dragon Ball Z and things like that. Um, I've got another anime in mind, but I, it, it's literally at the tip of my tongue and I can't recall which one it is, but hopefully I'll think about it. Uh, not think about it, but remember before the end of the uh, recording, so maybe I'll bring it up again. Uh, then we've got these pretty bows here. Uh, we've got one that is clippy style and it looks like one is a paper clip. I would probably get more use out of the clippy style than I would the bow just simply because, you know, as much as I love bows, um, most people stick bows at the top of their planner and I like to toss my planner inside my purse and that really just, you know, doesn't do good for clips. So uh, a lot of times I end up regifting my clips to friends who uh, enjoy that more and honestly, um, as pretty as this is, look at this fabric. Is that not adorable? There is, looks like, it feels like there's wire uh, in these seams. Um, so that's just super cute. I love that. Next we've got these stamps always catch my eye. We've got, it says this month, next month, daily to do. I'd use that a lot. Uh, personal notes, meal plan, inventory, to do list. I'd use that a lot as well. Uh, inspiration, tracker, travel, urgent, week, today, goals, finances, schedule, contacts, recipe, notes, and, and it looks like a little ampersand. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then we've got this tab here. So that's actually really cool. It would be nice if, I, I mean, it'd be nice if there was a die cut to go with that, but we could fussy cut that. That's super simple to do. Um, so I love that. And then we've got, I'm just picking things up and putting them down. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this notepad. This is super cute. Again, we've got those floral, uh, those watercolor flowers with the butterfly and notes. We've got a grid pattern in the background. I don't know if you can see those grids or not, um, but I love that. Um, and it's different from the post-it notes 
uh, which coordinate fairly decently with that. Not as this is a this is a little more whimsical than this is, um, but I like both of them. Um, I'm just loving these colors. Uh, I'm telling you, I, I have a trip to Hawaii planned next month, and these colors are just making me super excited for that trip. Um, I really can't wait. Uh, die cuts. Here's some die cuts. We've got some galoshes here, some butterflies. Looks like we've got some lilacs and some leaves, a couple of umbrellas, um, some tabs. You know what? I'm probably one of the few people that don't use the tabs a lot. Um, I almost never use them, and I hate to admit that because they're so cute. Like this one has purple flowers there. Um, I don't use them just because I simply don't know how to use them. Or, um, I mean, other than dividing sections, of course, but I'm not the type to change them out every month. Um, maybe I wonder if I should be. And then maybe I get more use out of it. I don't know. Well, how do you use your tabs? Do you just use them in like monthly, daily, uh, to-do type sections in your planner, uh, in your traveler's notebooks? How do you use these? Let me know down in the comments how you use those and maybe it'll give me some ideas as to what I can do to better put those to use. Um, here we've got a little glassine bag. Um, oh, this is, so this is what I've been excited about because I saw this in the sneak peek, uh, and we've got a little note here and I like that they added this note because a lot of times what you get is something like this and it looks kind of weird and people don't know what it's for. And so this is the Coco Daisy stamp block and it's a custom acrylic stamping block. They left the protective paper backing on to keep your block safe from scratches and fingerprints. Simply peel it from the front and back and your stamping block is ready to go. Happy stamping. And so you just go like this and take a little effort. Helps if you have a nail. Um, I don't have much because I just cut mine. But it just goes like that. And it looks like they added grid lines, which is super, except for this part where you're peeling stuff off. So the back end will probably come back off a little bit easier. So we've got that off. Let's see if we can get the rest of this. Okay, I'm just finishing up here, and if you've got this kit, don't forget to get in between those letters. Because inside each letter there's still a piece of paper caught onto that. So, super neat. Um, you can even include like a little 
chain here in the corner where there's a hole or a keychain if you're rather adept at adding those in. Uh, doesn't look like I have any clothes at hand that I could add in. Or you can just use like a binder clip. Here, I've got a bunch of those right in front of me. That apparently I've never broken into before. How is that? I sell binder clips and these tiny ones I've never opened before. Anyway, so just go like this and add that on and voila. You can attach it to your planner or to your um, planner bag or whatever. Just gives it something handy to grab on. Uh, if you use this though, don't forget to take that off when you're stamping because it's rather, it kind of gets in the way. So you would use these like that. I uh, love that they included this because you could never have too many stamp blocks when you're a stamper. And I love these bags. I'm gonna put this note back in here just because I like keeping little ephemera like that. And then we have the washi, a little roll of happy. Love that. Doo -doo. Clearly, I am not smarter than the washi. Urgh, just give me. Here we go. There we go. Put that on the side. So it looks like we've got a whole bunch of gradient stripes here. Uh, let me find the end. This is where nails would be handy. There we go. Oh, look at those colors. Wow, I love that. Uh, so super great for a spring layout. April is gonna be a beautiful month and these, this will really help. I'm gonna love that. Let's put that there. And then we've got the main, oh, let's actually not put that there. There's so many little things. Put that there so that we can open this and not worry about snagging that with all this pretty stuff in here. Look at these butterflies. Does that just not reek of spring to you? I love it. So let's start with that since that's right in front of my eyes. We've got, of course, the two-sided paper. We've got some butterflies. We've got this beautiful watercolor stripes. And I love that it's the right gradient for an actual rainbow. Not everyone gets that right. Uh, and then we've got another messy watercolor print here. Um, I love doing this type of effect with uh, Tombos and um, plastic bags. Um, so this, uh, you obviously can't replicate this exact pattern, um, but you can do similar type of effects and that's going to be super cute. Um, here's an Easter type. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, I like the background, how it's got a similar watercolor effect like here in the back here in greens, um, but these crazy stripes and triangles aren't really my style and I don't have kids so I wouldn't use it on an Easter layout for me, um, but luckily They've given me another watercolor, so I can reuse that. Um, or who knows, I might actually use it exactly like that. We'll see. And then we've got that watercolor flowers with the butterfly here, uh, just like we've seen in the card here and the background here. I uh, love how they tie that all together. And yes, of course, the bows are also that way too. Um, I'd be curious to see within the group how these bows look for everyone else. Um, I've been working, I've been learning how to make repeating patterns and uh, designing your own fabrics. So it's interesting to me to see how these patterns come out and how everyone's bows might differ a little bit, just incrementally so that they look a little bit different all the time. And then for the last piece of paper, we've got these, well, it depends on how you look at it. This is actually kind of a neat pattern. It can be hearts, with little leaf blossoms. Um, for me, this reminds me of Miley Lays. Miley is a um, 
it's a flower and a, it's a leaf. It's, it's indigenous to Hawaii, I think. Um, the term itself is from Hawaii. And so if you go to Hawaii, you see those those um, garlands around people's necks during holidays and weddings, um, even graduations where it looks like a whole bunch of leaves around their neck and it just hangs down. Um, that's what this reminds me of is, is Miley. Um, so this one would probably get a whole lot of use. I, in fact, my nephew graduates this year so I can see using this in a layout there where I just back a photo of him with his graduation lays. Uh, do I have any photos on my desk? Doesn't look like it right away. Uh, anyways, I would put a photo on top uh, and use that as the background with a couple flowers on top of that as well. Um, so that's pretty neat. Anyways, let's get back. We've got the stickers. And we've got the small ones here with the labels. Um, super cute. Hello April meal planner, month at a glance exercise tracker and this is just Sammy. Um, I think she does all the tab stickers if not all the stickers for Coco Daisy and then we've got the labels for the weekly layouts. Um, really super cool. Love that. Um, I think the only thing I would say about this is I probably I'd love to see these laid out a little bit differently every once in a while. There's some to be, something to be said for um, regular designs and continuity, but once in a while it'd be nice to switch that around. Uh, and then we've got the more decorative stickers here. We've got large tabs, we've got the April header, today I can do anything. Spring is in the air, I'm wearing my positive pants, I love the sound of rain, living the dream. Of course, we've got holidays here. Um, last month's sticker sheet, there it is, in really small, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. You probably can't. And really right here next to this round circle sticker in a really light font is these holidays here written. So it says April Fool's Day is on the 1st. Um, Easter's on the 20th, Earth Day's on the, tw oh, so that's how super light this is. Uh, Earth Day, 27, uh, Arbor Day, I think the Arbor Day is the 27th, Earth Day is the 22nd, and April Fool's Day and Easter's on the 1st. Well, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, last month it was a lot darker, you could read that a lot better. Um, this month it looks like it, it just kind of got lost. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a nice little detail that I enjoyed having. That way I didn't have to go pull out my phone to go try and figure it out. Anyways, uh, we've got Owl Be There and Hedgehogs. This is a super cute hedgehog. I love that. Um, all is well in my world. Today I can do anything. Do, now, done. Yes. And then we've got some hole punch reinforcements here for those of you that are ordering the uh, ring bound kits. Um, obviously those of us that aren't can use it in other manners. Um, and then this cute little butterfly around here. That's super cute. I think the only thing I... I love these arrows. Um, but I have found that sometimes they're pointed in a way that... in a di direction that I want that's opposite to what I want. So, it's not, um, you know, that's me being critical, and I probably shouldn't because I super love these kits. I don't know what's going on out there. And then, here's the planner itself. We've got the plain cover. A lot of people love to cover that up and change it up a bit. Um, we've got the monthly calendar here, and I love how these flowers are coming down uh, and cascading over the umbrella and the rest of the month as well. We've got a rule page here, start each day with a positive thought. And then we have the dot grid calendar pages, some umbrellas, super nice designs. We've got more flowers. Being happy never goes out of style. More flowers. And then we've got some dot grid art pages. It says be grateful for small things, big things, and everything in between. Count your blessings every day. Stop and take a look at yourself. Be proud of all that you do and all that you are. 
Wow, that's a super awesome quote. I love that. Um, we've got some line pages here, and this is the center of the book. We've got some sketchy pages here, and then we go back to the dot grid pages. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Oh, I love that. Uh, when I'm in Hawaii, uh, because we go every year, when I'm in Hawaii, I love looking, um, just looking at the stars. It's a great way to spend the evening and it's so easy to see you down there. Um, because I live in Washington and so we don't always see it up here because of all the cloud cover. There we go, we've got some more pages, we've got the fun umbrellas. No rain, no flowers. And the end. Let's do what we love and a lot and do a lot of it from Mark Jacobs. Love that. So that's it. I'm gonna love this kit. Um, I might do a video of me putting this together in the next couple days. Um, not really sure. I like to sit here listening to uh, podcasts or um, different YouTube videos while I craft. So I might not do that. We'll see. Uh, tell me what you think. You want me to craft that on air and share it with all of you? Um, not sure. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Wow, that's quite a punctuation.